Congratulations, you passed your certification exam. Now what? In this video, we're gonna talk about what to do once you've passed your exam. Make sure that after this video, if you haven't seen the rest of the series on how to pass cybersecurity certifications, that you go back and you don't miss anything. But first, if this is the first time that we're meeting, welcome to my channel. My name is John Good, and here I get to spread my passion for cybersecurity training, tips and tricks, and career advice to help you go further. Remember to smash the thumbs up to like this video, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss future content, and make sure to leave a comment for the YouTube algorithm. Check out my website at johngood.com for more training without advertisements, if you want resume reviews, career advice, and consulting services. Also, if you're trying to break into cybersecurity, check out my Getting Started page for free resources and a copy of my ebook on cybersecurity careers. All right, let's get into the video. So you went to the testing center or you took your exam online at home or at work, and you receive that congratulatory statement saying that you passed. There's no better feeling than having put months of hard work and preparation into studying, and then you get that passing score. Of course, some certifications seem to feel dramatically better than others, but regardless, you really should feel proud of your achievement. So where do you go from here? Well, first, you gotta consider a brief break because you've been studying and preparing for a while. You've earned it. It's important that we recharge our batteries so that we stay fresh and charging ahead. Second, hopefully you've already thought about the next certification to start pursuing, whether that's a higher level certification down the same track certification or a different subject area altogether. If you haven't already thought about it, then you need to make that decision based on where you want your career to go. Third, you need to update your resume, LinkedIn profile, and any other place that you list your certifications. Be proud of your achievement and show that shiny certification off. If you haven't watched my video on building a resume, then I highly suggest you watch it because you might actually be able to make additional tweaks to your resume now that you've passed your certification exam. I would also put your physical certification somewhere where you can see it, and that way it reminds you of all that hard work that you put in. The fourth and final point is to review areas that you were weak in during the certification exam. Let's be honest, a pass is a pass on certification exams, but if you can improve your knowledge in weak areas, especially while that knowledge is fresh, it's gonna do nothing but help you. Additionally, if you happen to have an interview soon after passing, you might get asked about topics that are on that certification. Question of the day, which certification did you recently pass? Which one are you going for next? Let me know down in the comment section below. In this video, we talked about what to do now that you passed your exam. Remember, be proud of your achievement, but stay focused on your objectives. Make sure to watch the rest of this series on how to pass cybersecurity certifications if you haven't already. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my website at johngood.com for more training without advertisements. If you want resume reviews, career advice, and consulting services, and I'll see you next time.